We're showing you here how to prepare artichokes for any cooking method. The first step is to decide whether you just want to cook one artichoke or multiple artichokes at one time. Either way, you can cook these artichokes ahead of time and store them in the refrigerator for several days before eating or using them in a recipe. Take your fresh artichoke and rinse it well under cold water. If you have one handy, we even recommend using a soft kitchen brush and giving the artichoke a quick brush down to remove that natural light film an artichoke produces while growing. This can give the artichoke a bitter taste if not removed. The next step is to top and tail the artichoke. With a sharp serrated kitchen knife, you're gonna take about one inch off of the top of the artichoke. Then you're gonna trim the stem about one quarter of an inch. Or you're gonna completely remove the stem if you need it to sit up on a plate for stuffing or filling. Remember, the artichoke stem is a continuation of the heart, so don't cut it off unless you need to. For restaurant style presentation of an artichoke, take any scissors or kitchen shears and snip off the thorns on the tip of the artichoke petals. This step is optional as the thorns tend to soften when cooking. Now many cooks like to rub the cut portion of the artichoke with the juice of a fresh lemon to prevent it from browning. Again, this step is completely optional. And lastly, don't be afraid to spread open the petals slightly to allow any seasonings you may use to fall in between the artichoke petals for great flavor. Now your artichoke's ready to cook. Whether it's boiling, baking, steaming, or microwaving, for additional videos on cooking with artichokes, the health benefits, recipes, and cooking videos, go to OceanMist.com.